out his weapon. Yeah. So, we'll get started. First, you need to go to AI, generate all navigation. I've already done that. Now, view, open view pane, database view. Entity library, load library. You can either do Asian, new, or US. I've already loaded one, though. Now go to Archetype Entity. Oh, apparently I haven't. Alright, well, I'll load that real quick. <laughs> oh, Lord. Alright, there we go. Now, just pick any person. Doesn't really matter. Alright. Now go to Entity. Vehicles. Uh, Asian LTV. Click it on your person, go down to flow graph, create, AI follow path, now right click, add selected entity, fit the graph view, oh wait, no, you don't need to add that, add node, misc, start, now add node, a uh, AI, AI enter vehicle, and AI, AI follow path speed stance. Um, oh yeah, and a entity, entity ID. Um, yeah, sorry about this. Okay, um, now a vehicle unload. Add node, AI, uh, where is it, AI go to speed stance, okay, AI, AI stance, and AI, AI weapon draw, and an AI weapon select, reverse those, okay. Now, we will assign, them, assign the correct things to them. Select your vehicle, assign it to the entity ID. You just right click and assign selected entity. Now, in, in for the enter vehicle, assign your person to that. Also to this, assign your LTV to the vehicle unload and your person to that, 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 and that. Oh, also, you will need an uh, entity, entity pose. And we'll assign some to that later. Now we need a path. Go to AI, AI path. Make sure of all the terrain is on. Okay. We'll make the path. Just gonna put it fairly short. Un unchecked road right here. And uh, we also need a AI go to AI tag point. We'll turn that and put it right there. Alright, now go back to your flow graph. You just click on him, go down to flow graph, open, and all your stuff is there. Now, for the follow path speed stance, check uh, path find to start, and enter the path name. This is AI path one. You, you can do the speed. There's zero, very slow, one is normal, two fast, and three very fast. We'll do two. Um, can assign the tag point to your entity pose. Okay. Then uh, AI stance will be crouch. Uh, weapon select. You want them to select a weapon. FY71. Okay. 
that will connect them. Output of the start goes into sync. It'll also set to en the enter vehicle node, uh, go to seat and driver. Put the entity ID into the vehicle ID in here. Succeed, sync, succeed, sync. Put the pose of the entity pose into the pose of the go to speed stance. Um, succeed, sync, succeed, sync, succeed, sync, succeed, sync. Okay, now you have that. I'll test it out a little. Uh, just press AI physics so you don't have to go in game and do it. Oh, no, I forgot something. Uh, go up back to your flow graph. And the, whenever you want a vehicle to follow a path, you need to assign the vehicle to the speed stance, not the person. So, yeah. Okay, we'll do that again. You can make them run to it and everything. Okay, well, you didn't stay crouched, but yeah, you get the idea. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching the first Dirt Box tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that it was helpful. Uh, thank you, and stay tuned.